Jin Sung. If you like the mellow sound of political correctness, so, 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 throw your guns in the air. this will not be music to your ears. It's a hardcore form of rap music called gangster rap. A gangster rap is about war. And basically it's about war between different sets of young blacks. Nelson George, author and music critic. And when you write about war, you write about a lot of bad stuff. Gangster Rap started as a totally underground music. Its commercial success pushed it onto the video screens of America. Rap has proven that it's not just something for a minority group. This music is reaching white kids. And now that rap has grown to become nearly a billion dollar a year industry, so too has the backlash against hardcore rap. Critics say it doesn't just reflect inner city violence, it glorifies it. Either way, it's beginning to scare a lot of people. It's supposed to scare I'm Stephen King on wax, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm just putting it out. Wax with... being the record. Yeah. Spice One is a gangster rapper from Haywood, California. 187 is an art, cause the trigger got so hard. Is that anger meant to be there? Yeah. Because, I mean, there's no other way we can do it. Rap music came from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? That's what people got to realize. We came from the ghetto. And, and when we, we come out talking like this, this is real experiences. Some we seen, some we heard, some we, you know, some we been involved in. Minister society, madman killer. Just come in and expect gangster neighborhood drug dealer. Spice, he's a reporter. He reports what happens in his hood. Chaz Hayes is Spice One's manager. Sometimes it makes me, it makes me mad when people try and, like, censor what an artist is trying to creatively tell you. He's trying to tell you something. See, if you don't let people know what's going on, they can't help. It puts me in peril, and it puts my children, me and mine, you and yours, are in peril. Jamie and Lorenzo Brown published a black celebrity magazine, Sister to Sister. It's been very difficult. You know I have two teenage boys. Russell and Randall, who both listen to hardcore rap. The parents do not pay enough attention to what's going on with their children and the music. And Jamie believes that hardcore rap can do more than just offend politically correct sensibilities. This is Randy studying with his father. Two years ago, her oldest son Randall, then 17, got into a fight with another teenager who pulled out a gun and shot him four times. So you think then, Jamie, that you think then, Jamie, that there is a direct connection between your son being shot and the gangster rap music that we're hearing on the radio. I think there's today? a direct connection between the bravado that exists in the music and in the films and, and movies. Our whole culture is like you can't disrespect me, you can't diss me. And for doing that. You die. Randall survived the attack. This is the first birthday after Randy was shot. He was 18. He's a freshman at Brown University. Now it's her 16-year-old son, Russell, hey, yo, doctor, that Jamie worries about. I come into my kid's room, and that's what he's listening to. And as soon as I open the door, he's sitting up at the top bunk, and he says, and a 38 caliber shot her in the head. And he's got his fingers out like this. I look up to gangsters sometimes, because that's, that's basically all you're around. And you see how they, they get respect from other people. Everybody wants respect. In Oakland rapper Todd Shaw's world, he's not surrounded by guns. He's surrounded by women. See, I made up my mind when I was 17. But that's not what he calls them. I'm probably most famous for using the word bitch. They see me with a bitch with a big ass butt. I know a broke ass bitch when I see one. Trying to come up on me, bitch, bitch, none. He calls himself too short. When he raps, he plays the role. people, the pimp.
there are all these characters in rap. Um, you have messengers, you have gangsters, you have lovers, and you have too short. You know I like this, we don't like prostitutes. Straight up lace, no panties, and knee high boots. And, when you see and that's what rap is all about, man. Some of it is real. Some of it is fictional. It's, it's, it's poetry, you know what I mean? Who you calling the bitch? Queen Latifah is a poet with a different rap. Her rap, U-N-I-T-Y, is a response to what she says are demeaning images of women in hardcore rap. If you're calling me a bitch to disrespect me, I'm going to have a problem with that. I don't appreciate that and I don't take to it and I won't tolerate it. But until the brothers actually step in and say to another brother, look, that ain't cool, it's really not going to matter. I know I'm doing something bad. It might be tasteless to you. And even to me. This is business. I'm targeting a certain market. Right, but it's and business. And it's a major market. Millions. Multi-millions. Multi. They're buying his record because they like what he's saying and the way he says it. See Dolores Tucker marched in Selma with Martin Luther King nearly 30 years ago. When one of us is de denigrated, all of us are. She heads the National Political Congress of Black Women. There's no dignity in this rap. Campaigning against hardcore rap. What do you say to these gang, so-called gangster rappers who say, we're exercising our freedom of speech? We were freedom marching, of expression. We were marching uh, to stop uh, those who were using speech against us. Uh, they were calling us all kind of names, the very same names that these rappers are using. What's a nigga, always a nigga, still a nigga, Rod. We marched against them. South Central Cartel is back in the house. They are young. They don't understand the larger vision. Dr. King told us to be the best of whatever we are, not the worst. That's the worst. Do they think that this just started? The ghetto life was the same life. Nothing has changed a bit. And a lot of older people, older black people, will be offended. They say, well, you know, this stuff is here, but you're not helping anybody talking about it by throwing it out up front. But still in all, that's what rap music is all about. It's about everything. Rap is every subject. Women come a dime a dozen, so don't get mad when I'm dating your cousin. Do you think a line should be drawn? I mean, where, where do we draw the line? Movies, you know, violent rap, pornography, uh, sexual rap. What, what, what is it all? By the time there is a, a line drawn, I'll be in and out with a few million dollars and be like, hey.